Hi, my name is Travis. I'm the founder and owner of Nodespace Hosting. Today, I'm going to show you how to convert a CentOS 7 server to Alma Linux 8. Now, the reason I'm showing you how to do this is because CentOS 7 actually has about a year and a half of actual uh, support still left in it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch over and show you the Red Hat Enterprise Linux lifecycle. And I'm showing you this because uh, CentOS 7 is actually tracking Enterprise Linux uh, on the lifecycle. So if we look here uh, for uh, Enterprise Linux 7, you can see that it is currently under maintenance support. And uh, general availability, it came out in 2014. Full support ended in 2019. Uh, maintenance 1 support ended in 2020. And this is the critical one right here. Uh, because CentOS doesn't have extended life support, uh, it's going to end June 30th, 2024. That's when the final patches are going to be available for CentOS 7. And that's when all the uh, repos are going to be moved to the CentOS vault. And any system currently running is not going to get security patches uh, for the base OS from CentOS or Red Hat. Uh, so that's something very important to keep in mind. Uh, if we look here, uh, Red Hat 8, which Alma Linux tracks, uh, is going to have full support through May 31st of 2029. And uh, Alma Linux 9, which just came out not too long ago, is should have uh, full maintenance support until May 31st of 2032. Uh, so this also uh, tells you what the final minor release version number will be for each version. So 7.9 is going to be uh, the last of the RHEL 7 release, uh, 8.10 and 9.10 will be the final for uh, 8 and 9 respectively. So I just wanted to show you this to let you know that yes, uh, support is going to be ending soon. So the way to get to a supported system is to uh, do an in-place upgrade to Alma Linux 8. And this is a cool project that Alma Linux has, and it's called Elevate. And this is um, a way to migrate from uh, CentOS 7 to any of the other variants of uh, RHEL 8. So I'm going to be showing you how to go to Alma Linux, but you can use this same project to upgrade CentOS 7 to uh, any of these other ones you see right here. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, show you the VM that I'm going to be upgrading. And let's talk about upgrading real quick. So something that I want to mention and make it very clear here is that this is obviously a virtual machine. Uh, the other thing to note is that this is a fresh install of CentOS 7 and it is just the base minimal install. There's no extra packages that have been installed. If you are going to upgrade a production system and it is virtualized, make sure you take a snapshot of that system. If you are upgrading a physical system, uh, definitely take system backups. Make sure that those backups are good. Don't play with production systems unless you are 100% sure that you can recover. So just something to keep in mind. So here I am, I am SSH'd into this uh, virtual machine. And this is where I'm gonna show you the majority of upgrading the system in place. So I'm actually gonna reference the wiki here to copy and paste commands. And I'm just going to go to the quick start guide. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your system is fully up to date. I just did that, so I'm going to skip that, um, uh, that part of the process. The next thing I'm going to do is install the Elevate release uh, package with the project repo and GPG key. And this installs just like anything else. 
right? Now, this is where you'll make a decision as to what system you want to go to. So I'm going to upgrade this system to Alma Linux. However, uh, if you want to go to CentOS Stream, or if you want to go to Rocky Linux, uh, just replace Alma Linux here with the distro that you want to upgrade to. So let's go ahead and install this. All right, now the next thing we need to do is a pre-upgrade, and this is going to show us everything that we need to fix. Uh, so by default, CentOS 7 doesn't meet all the requirements, so you will see some issues that you're gonna to need to fix. You, uh, on my system, I'm expecting to just see one or two issues, and if I had more uh, packages installed like Apache or EPEL or something else, I would probably see more issues. And the nice thing about this up, uh, pre upgrade report is it's actually going to tell you what you need to fix and how to fix it. So let's go ahead and run this check. And this will just take about a minute or so to update or to run. So I'm going to fast forward through this and I will show you everything at the end. All right, so now that everything has completed, uh, this is the one issue that I was expecting to see. And it's a missing required answers in the answer file and consult the pre-upgrade report for details and possible remediation. Uh, so this report is going to be what you're going to reference based on any uh, inhibitors that's going to uh, not let you upgrade the system. So I'm just going to uh, cat out this file. And we're just going to glance through it. Uh, all the inhibitors should be at the very top of the file. So right here, this is the one inhibitor that my system has. So I'm going to copy this command right here and everything else. So we can actually get out of that. Uh, you can review it if you would like, and I would recommend reviewing it, especially on production systems that are uh, more than just fresh upgrades like this one. So let's go ahead and run that command. And now the next thing that we need to do uh, is run leap upgrade. And again, this will just take a few minutes like everything else. So I'm going to fast forward through this. And once it's done, I'm going to show you then what happens on the back end through the console uh, in Proxmox, because the system uh, is not actually converted once it does this and it it's going to actually need to reboot. And um, there's more stuff that happens once it reboots. So we'll uh, We'll come back once that's all complete. Now that uh, everything has been, uh, for the most part, upgraded in this first part, uh, you can see right here that a new boot entry was added for Leap and a reboot is required to continue. And this is actually going to process the rest of the update. So I'm going to go ahead and issue the reboot command here. And we're going to switch over to the Proxmox console and you'll be able to see the rest of the upgrade process from here. All right, and just like that, you can see that the system went through, did a few reboots, and now right there at the top, you can see that we are in Alma Linux, and it's just going to finish up its little things right there, and that should be it. So now we can log in as root. There we go. We are now in Alma Linux. 
And that is how you upgrade a system in place from CentOS 7 to Alma Linux 8. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe uh, for more uh, Linux tutorials and videos that we have in the pipeline and uh, that I'm excited to show you. And if you're looking for a new web hosting provider or somebody to provide you additional infrastructure as a service, please consider Node Space Hosting. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.